Wi-Fi 6 routers are here, and with the ever-increasing price of new routers, it is hard to find a Wi-Fi 6 router with an affordable price. But I think it's about to change. Today we are going to review and test Uplink RX4-1500 Wi-Fi 6 802.11ax Wi-Fi router from a company called Vanin. Vanin is a new company stepping into the Wi-Fi router industry. And today we are going to review and test their first Wi-Fi 6 router, which cost only $80 at the time of this review to see how it performs. I will also leave the link to the Wi-Fi router in the description below. Router package includes a Wi-Fi router, a setup instructions, a power adapter, an Ethernet cable, and warranty information. Now let's look at the features of the router. The router supports 1.5 gigabits of total bandwidth. 802.11ax Wi-Fi 6 standard, powered by Tri-Core 1.5 GHz 64-bit processor, MU-MIMO, OFDMA technology, and 1024 QAM. The router supports dual band 5.8 GHz and 2.4 GHz, with speed up to 1200 Mbps and 300 Mbps respectively. It also has four 1 gig Ethernet ports for local network, one 1 gig WAN port for internet connection, and other great features like guest network, parental control, firewall, WP3, WPS, and more. The RX4-1500 Wi-Fi router uses the latest Wi-Fi 6 802.11ax standard to provide four times increased data capacity to get ultra-fast Wi-Fi speeds. It allows the router to provide industry-leading speed up to 300 megabits on 2.4 gigahertz band and 1200 megabits per second on 5 gigahertz band. An extremely powerful 1.5 GHz 64-bit tri-core processor powers through the multiple complex tasks and demanding applications with ease. Provides great network capacity and efficiency. The router comes with OFDMA technology enables efficient data scheduling so that more transmission can be sent at the same time. This vast improvement in efficiency works for both uploads and downloads. Reduced latency and increased network efficiency comes with four standard RF, FEM, front-end module, extremely useful for latency-sensitive applications, such as virtual reality VR goggles, augment reality AR, and Internet of Things, LOT, sensors. With MU-MIMO, multiple users can access a router simultaneously without decreasing bandwidth. It increases Wi-Fi data rates by 60% to enjoy lag-free online gaming, 4K, and even 8K streaming. Let's look at the design of the router. Router is made of plastic and has four external antennas, two of which are assigned to 2.4 GHz and two of them are assigned to 5.8 GHz band. On the back of the router you will see four 1 gig Ethernet ports and 1 gig WAN port and a reset option along with power button and plug-in. Now let's look at the router setup and admin center. Setting up this router was very simple and easy. Router comes with great manual instructions on how to set up this Wi-Fi router. To my surprise, router has very clean interface. At the home screen under router status tab, you will find information about the Wi-Fi router, including number of LAN devices connected to the Wi-Fi router. Here you also have device information, WAN information, LAN information, and LAN devices information. Moving on to the network tab, here you have again WAN connection type information, LAN information, 2.4 GHz wireless information, here you can configure 2.4 GHz band settings or leave it to auto. You also have advanced options for wireless configuration if you want to play around with the settings. 5 GHz band settings are similar to 2.4 GHz band. Also you have QoS settings, time settings and guest SSID settings. Next on to the security tab, here you can set up WAN access control to create URL filters and create black and white list, an option to set up printer control. Under Application tab, you have option to set up UPnP, DMZ, Virtual Server, and set up Wi-Fi router as repeater. Under Management tab, you can set up Admin Password under User Management, and under Device Management, you can restore default router settings, reboot the router, and firmware upgrades, and under Log Management, you can view the system logs. And finally, under Help, you can find useful information on how to troubleshoot the Wi-Fi router. So there are plenty of router settings available to be configured. This router has great all-round features. Let's dive into the Wi-Fi speed and range test. So the router is placed in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it, and it is in the lowest part of the house. 
So I will be testing router connection on different parts of the house and floors to see how well it performs in terms of speed and coverage. Okay, so here as you can see on the phone screen, we have uplink 5 GHz and uplink 2.4 GHz are the two Wi-Fi connections from this router. And for the reference Wi-Fi name, Batman and Superman are ASUS GT5300 Wi-Fi bands. I have 100 by 100 megabits per second Verizon Fios connection. And standing right next to the router, I'm getting full connection speed, which is great confirming that Wi-Fi router is working properly. Now for the second test, I'm standing 30 feet away from the router in the basement with a couple of walls between the Wi-Fi router and the phone. I have so far solid Wi-Fi connection with good speed. Now let's move from the basement to the main floor of the house and do a third Wi-Fi speed and connection test. Again so far Wi-Fi connection is strong with good speed. I'm able to connect to 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands without any problem. Now let's move to the second floor of the house and do a fourth Wi-Fi speed and coverage test. Here we have two floors and few walls between the router and the phone. Again so far the signal strength is strong for both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. Wi-Fi speed has dropped a little bit. I would say close to 20% Wi-Fi speed signal strength dropped. But still enough signal strength and speed to handle any Wi-Fi requirement. Now for the final and toughest test. For this I'm going outside the house. Here we have a stone wall, main floor and few regular walls between the router and the phone. And the distance is close to 60 feet from the router. Here Wi-Fi connection speed has dropped a lot. But the phone is still able to connect to 2.4 GHz band. But 5 GHz band is no longer available. I'm going to move away from the house and see if 2.4 GHz band is able to maintain the connection. Here I'm close to 50 feet away from the house. And to my surprise, I'm still able to pull some Wi-Fi signals and very limited bandwidth. So I guess we're hitting the limit here. But overall, very impressive results. Overall, Uplink RX4-1500 802.11ax Wi-Fi 6 router performed extremely well in this review. Equipped with features like Wi-Fi 6, 802.11ax, 4 1GB Ethernet ports, 1GB WAN port for internet, powered by Tri-Core 1.5GHz 64-bit processor, MU-MIMO, OFDMA technology, 1024-QAM, guest network and other features are hard to find in this price point. Uplink RX 1500 Wi-Fi router delivers great coverage and had no problem covering 5000 square feet house with good Wi-Fi speed in all areas of the house. I highly recommend this router to anyone who is in the market for best affordable 802.11ax Wi-Fi 6 router. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.